Welcome, this is Vlade with Travel Through My Lens. I'm headed from Sacramento on a two hour and 15 minute drive to Reno today. Here we are guys, we're in downtown Reno right now. We were able to find a uh, parking inside the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino, a free parking spot. And uh, just wanted to do a walkthrough video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe, comment. I'm hearing all kinds of car sounds, sirens right now. So maybe we get to check out some interesting cars here. And of course, casinos are here in downtown Reno. I'll be honest with you guys, I wish uh, I had more time to give this town justice, uh, but I only have three hours, so um, I'll try to do my best here. When we first pulled up, I didn't really see a lot of people on the streets, uh, but uh, as I started walking here, and I see a lot of more, more people walking, and especially uh, when we were inside the hotel, and casino there's uh, a lot a lot of people there inside so uh, don't get uh, fooled you guys there, there's a lot of people in, inside the casinos and uh, here outside as well I'm seeing very interesting cars here old school cars custom made cars upgraded Fully. Sirens that you guys are hearing, it's not a real police siren, it's uh, all those custom cars, they have built in uh, police sirens and uh, they, they're turning them on to get attention. I don't recall a place where I've been and saw this, this much uh, car action. Uh, on the streets. Look at that. The front is all up. I've seen cars where the whole back is, is up, uh, front is up, and it's just completely custom made cars here that I'm seeing. A lot of them too. Check out this car. It just goes <laughs> up and down, it just shakes everywhere, it's like wow what the heck, uh, I don't know what date today is but maybe there's a, some kind of special auto day today that is going on. Yeah, you don't see this every day on a, on a sidewalk. Uh, the car is just totally <laughs> standing on the three wheels. Here is that very popular sign, Reno, the biggest little city in the world. The slogan the biggest little city in the world came from back in 1800s, uh, late 1800s, where people were fighting for residents to come over and live. Uh, a lot of people were coming and going to big cities like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, but to sway people to come and live here, they were trying to persuade by saying that they have a big vision, they have a big opportunities, they have a big pride and so that kind of brought people and then building a highway a freeway next to it 
go, that goes from Sacramento all the way to uh, to Reno. That you know that kind of vision was taken into consideration, and there was a big heavyweight fight that also was happening in 1920s that they were trying to sell this idea of the biggest little city in the world and uh, of course you know it just uh, took hold of it and even I was reading in, in 2020 it was actually ranked number one uh, considering uh, population uh, around 800,000 to 500,000 and just considering how big the city is it was actually ranked number one in, in, in terms of uh, factors such as natural environment, airport connectivity, sports teams, nightlife, education, uh, online views in ranks. And so considering all that, it was actually ranked number one um, in 2020. It has a pretty decent weather here, almost uh, year round. Uh, it has, uh, of course, a great nightlife, uh, casinos, as you guys know, um, but it's also uh, the tech companies that have moved out here and brought uh, a lot of educated workers who are coming here uh, to work with those tech companies. And just uh, overall, uh, you know, you have a great shopping areas as well now, great restaurants. one point this used to be a hot spot for casinos and uh, when they allowed casinos to be in Las Vegas and other parts uh, it's a little bit faded but there's still gatherings here there's still people coming out here uh, for casinos and stuff like that check that car out I've never seen anything like that anywhere else on the streets like I'm seeing here in downtown Reno uh, with so many cars that are so custom made and um, yeah this is the first time that I'm witnessing something in downtown like this This is like a museum, car museum outside. Speaking of museums, uh, Reno actually has a National Automobile Museum that's pretty popular with uh, a different kind of variety of cars that you can go and check it out. Uh, so it kind of suits uh, this, this place uh, with all the custom cars that I'm seeing on the streets with the uh, car museum that they have, it kind of fits all together. Here in front in the corner, it's a Silver Legacy Casino Hotel.
So this is still Silver Legacy Hotel and Casino. It's almost a block long all the way here and there's actually you'd be surprised how many folks are inside playing slots gambling casinos uh, you know just uh, being inside of the casinos there's actually quite a quite a few uh, people inside um, you might not see a lot of folks outside but inside it seemed like there was a pretty much every casino every hotel is pretty booked pretty packed inside and uh, we, we actually parked inside this Circus 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 Casino. Uh, we used their parking garage. It's um, a free parking space in there. We, so we, we actually just drove inside the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino and parked inside for free. Uh, there's a free parking. And um, we just basically parked there and just walked around downtown, did some videos, hang out. All right, you guys, uh, we are back in the beginning here where you see the, f the famous popular sign, the biggest little c city in the world in front. I want to take a little bit different path, go a couple of different streets here, see what's out here. I'm not gonna have enough time to go around the whole downtown of Reno, but whatever time I have, uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can. Like uh, any other downtown, we see uh, scooters that you can rent and drive around uh, for your convenience. If you want to go somewhere faster, there's scooters. Uh, pretty much all major cities, all major downtowns, they, they have that. So we're here, um, back, looking at the casino and hotel. Here's the Eldorado Casino and Hotel. We see uh, casinos, hotels, parking lots here. There's some commercial buildings. I was actually expecting to see a lot more homeless people here but uh, so far I haven't noticed too, m too many homeless people here on the streets. Uh, there's a few here and there, but I haven't noticed too much so far this time. This in front looks like a dog park 
or dog training or just a free dog area to where you can bring your dog and just hang out with your dog maybe a, a training facilities for for dogs right there in front see a bunch of dogs with their owners so it could be maybe like a training facilities maybe a park for the dogs As I took a turn from that main street where I was there a while ago and came down this way, I noticed right away that there is a lot less people walking here. There's a lot less traffic here uh, and uh, it just seems a lot more quieter here at, at this area as I moved away from that main street where I was earlier where there was cars everywhere, traffic, hotels are packed. So it looks like it's getting less and less people here going this way. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more people here on a Saturday evening. Uh, it, it is a weekend after all, but uh, don't see too much, too much traffic here on a Saturday evening. But uh, I, what I'm thinking is it just depends on the street that I'm walking on in downtown Reno. Uh, some streets are a little bit more busier than others, depending on the location and what kind of stuff going on on that street whether it has hotels or not, whether it has the big known shopping areas. So maybe it's just me walking on a street that is just uh, doesn't have a lot of things going on on it. Looks like this is a more major street right here in front. Ahead I see big hotel, casino right there. So there's probably more action uh, towards this way. Honestly, I'm a little bit lost here. I'm not sure where I'm at, where I'm located. So I'm just gonna just go wherever I see the potential, I guess. Um, there's some hotels on the right side that we've walked earlier.
So walking next to another casino and hotel right here. Looks like police pulled over somebody or stopped somebody. I'm just gonna go around it. Yeah, yeah the casino looks like a pretty interesting place. Uh, the whole parking lot is filled with cars so there's there's something going on inside for sure. Look at all that parking lot it's filled up with cars. It's uh, I'm pretty sure there's stuff happening inside. Some action going on right there. Casino hotel Lo looks like a nice, nice one too. There's some construction going on. Looks like uh, build new buildings are gonna be built over here. Yeah, I don't see a lot of traffic here, a lot of food traffic or even not a lot of car traffic here. Pretty quiet so far uh, at this location. There's some shopping areas uh, still open. I'm gonna turn left here and uh, head back to that main street where I was earlier there's uh, some some shopping areas coffee some restaurants over here on this side some apartments
So I basically took a circle uh, going around and coming back to my starting point basically. So coming back to that major street again. Here we are. You guys seen this familiar place, El Dorado Hotel and Casino. So I'm coming back to where I originally started. Uh, yeah, it, uh, there's a few streets that were pretty quiet, not not a lot of food traffic. Uh, it was, uh, uh, I did not not feel like um, someone was going to attack me or anything. It was pretty peaceful actually, just walking with, uh, I didn't see a lot of homelesses, homeless people there. I didn't feel like threatening, threatened by anybody. But I, yeah, I just did a walk and it seemed pretty normal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you